have had enough, ladies and gentlemen, of the globalists trying to screw everything up. They're GMO, they're toxic poison, they're drugging to the kids, they're deadly vaccines to brain damage everybody. The New World Order is the enemy, and its control of Europe, the United States, England, Australia, New Zealand, and much of the planet needs to end. They're allied with the chi -coms, who are about as evil as it gets. And Russia, ladies and gentlemen, is in their crosshairs, period. And they got the neocons and the controlled left and all of them wanting a big fat war to haul Obama's bacon out of the political fire so they can get their whole agenda through. The war with Russia is the false flag, ladies and gentlemen. It is the diversion. Ukraine crisis, U.S. to sell some crude oil from Strategic Petroleum Reserve in latest tit for tat with Russia strongman Putin. Venezuela burns as anti-government protests continue in Caracas. This is not Ukraine, it's Venezuela, the News of Australia reports. While the world has been focused on a missing plane, violent clashes have set the country's capital on fire. Student protesters have clashed with soldiers in the streets of Caracas again today as three more fatal shootings raise the death toll to 25 as a month of demonstrations against Venezuela's socialist government intensifies. Around 3,000 supporters and opponents of Venezuela's president took to the streets of the country's capital to mark the one month since the protest erupted. And again, the top story, I just can't even get into the other news, this is so huge. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff tells the Atlantic Council they're ready for military response to back the Ukraine coup government against the Russians. And the Russians are massing hundreds of thousands of troops, the New York Times reports, on their border. Isn't that just special? And I guess, you know, Obama's on vacation again. And he can shoot hoops. So, you know, where Hitler failed and where Napoleon failed. <laughs> he said he was going to win in Afghanistan. He got I mean, absolutely routed with the surge and everything. That's just more targets for Al-Qaeda and Taliban to kill. Because resistance is victory. And you don't have the moral high ground being in Afghanistan 12 years. You don't have the moral high ground attacking Russia. You don't have the moral high ground doing all this stuff. This is not our government doing this, ladies and gentlemen. Only crazy people would do stuff like this or people that stand to gain off crises who make money off all the different sides. And that's the globalist. That's George Soros, that dirtbag. He was 14, 15 years old and a Nazi collaborator who would infiltrate and knew the Jews different tactics to try to evade being picked up in Eastern Europe. And he would go around and find them and shake them down and send them to the forced labor camps. And he's the guy financing getting rid of free speech and the Second Amendment and who has groups he finances like Media Matters calling for us to basically be shut down. And he's over there trying to start war with Russia. I mean, how crazy is a 15-year-old Nazi collaborator who's now almost 90 years old 80-something, how old is that son of a, oh, man, I tell you. I mean, I am just sick of it. I am so tired of this person who's just going to make money off the crisis, makes money trying to bring down England, make money off trying to bring down Australia, makes money off trying to bring down the dollar. He is a wrecker. You know who the wreckers were. They've had them in every culture, but England has the most famous wreckers. Going back about 400 years ago down by Cornwall on the southern coast, they would put up fake lighthouses during foggy weather, and they had local county rules where if a ship wrecked on the rocks, you know, a mile out, quarter mile out on the, on the big rocks, uh, they would go out and be able to get the goods. And most of the sailors would die or come into shore, and then they would come out with their ships the next day when the fog cleared and uh, clean everything out of the wrecked boats. Kind of like buzzard, vulture capitalism, I think is the way to describe it, crony See, just it has the word capitalism in its name, it's the opposite of real free market capitalism. And it's our enemy. It's our enemy. And George Soros is our enemy. And Al Gore is our enemy. They are the virulent metastasizing cancer. And the Republican Party is like the rest of the body going, you can go ahead and have the lungs and the brain. We're just the guts. Eat us last. Because in the time frame, I guess these old 70, 80-year-old Republicans getting their payoffs and the blue bloods are being blackmailed and they got their daily p pension of hookers and mistresses and everything else up there in D.C. And, the, and they're just like, they, they openly say, hey, just leave us alone. You can have it all. 
yeah, you can teach the kids two plus two equals five. You can teach five-year-olds how to, you know, dress like a woman. Five-year-old boys, yeah, you can arrest people for drawing a picture of a gun. Yeah, you can totally do whatever you want. Just, just leave us alone. And, of course, if you idiots think you're going to be left alone when the globalists fully take over, you got another thing coming. They're going to arrest and jail and set you up and ruin you, you fools. You idiots. John Boehner and all the rest of you are absolutely collaborating filth. And you have no common sense, and you don't study history, and you cannot feel the impending doom. You cannot have feel the dread of the, of the gates of the republic fully falling. You think the country's overrun by criminal operations right now? We're only dealing with the vanguard scouts of the New World Order right now. When those shields and those gates, when the hedge, which is starting to fall, when the gate goes down, folks... The New World Order literally has hated American barbarian guts. Because America was founded by barbarian invasions. And was endless barbarian wars before that with the Native Americans. This was the wild, wild west. This was Conan the Barbarian for real. This was all the swashbucklers and criminals and pirates and adventurers and runners and real men and the slaves, half of which would die on the ships over, and, and, and the sailors, half of which would die in every three missions out. Just the absolute creme de la creme of humanity founded this country. And that's why we were the apple of the world's eye. The real swashbucklers. And the New World Order is going to bring us down. They hate us. The technocratic, ancient French, British, and other elites... And the Rothschild elites, they're all the same, inbred together. They hate human vitality, they hate surging power, they hate renaissance, they hate powerful feminine women. Man, I saw a painting one time that I want to get a print of. If you type in cave woman, it's a painting from like the 18th century. And it's, it's, it's an artist's rendition of a, of a cave woman with her kids behind her, with a saber-toothed cat coming into the cave, and it's the sexiest looking woman I've ever seen. Uh, I need to find that painting, and that's what I want hanging up, is a big, giant painting of that. Because the men are gone out hunting, and the big cat's coming in, and she's got like a club in her hand. They do not want that. They want women disarmed, totally mindless, believing the television culture, cut off from the men. The, the, the state is their husband, and they're doing it. It is incredible. They've turned the men into arrested development cowards that think watching football is what's manly. I've kind of digressed, ladies and gentlemen. The point is, is that the globalists want us domesticated so they can do whatever they want to us and use us. And they're going after any national sovereign country that's red-blooded and aggressive that hasn't been dominated. And the British Empire that's, that's metastasized into the American globalist New World Order Wall Street Empire has been wanting to bring down the Russian system forever. The czars were corrupt and ancient and whatever, but they weren't anti-Russian. They had to be brought down. Then they put the Bolsheviks in to, to try to destroy Russian culture and create a hellish situation. And then now that's been rejected by Alexander Solzhenitsyn and others. And there's a battle within the heart and soul of Russia for the Solzhenitsyn vision of a strong nationalistic Russia with, with children and a growing population moving forward and the old Bolshevik attitudes that are still there. But the, the lust, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but the, the drive, the hunger for true liberty is in the Russians, it's in Americans, it's in everybody, and it unifies humanity around exploration, interstellar, but also here on this planet, an exploration of our own psyches, an, expl an, an, an exploration of our own potential. And it is that choice, the Agenda 21 anti-human dehumanization, lowering IQ, glow-in-the-dark people, shuffling around from trendy event to trendy event, totally empty, totally mindless, downloading whatever new psychological, cultural template is given to them, or the animating contest of men and women and striving and free association and letting there be winners and losers in dodgeball and football and track and essays to, 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 to build and empower competition which we know is like gravity. Without gravity, your bones turn to mush, your heart disintegrates. And the globalists are removing the cultural gravity and, and pressures 
from the population and putting chemicals into the water and food on record to sedate the public for the long slide as we slid our wrist culturally in a hot bath into exterminism.